Today I worked in a workshop. 有这样的车库最棒了，有灯光，然后在室内还有冷气。I use the power tool. 这个是我频道开张以来第一次用电动工具。<笑> And I disassembled a modern electric BMW. First of all, our special thanks to WCM, 世界车业 in Longtan, Taoyuan, Taiwan, for lending us their workshop for this work. Hello, welcome to Fun Cars and Good People. I'm Carl. In this video, my friend Mario and I are going to install Apple CarPlay and Android Auto decoder to his BMW i3. It is necessary to disassemble some part of the interior to integrate the decoder to the original infotainment system. Let's do it. This is the head unit of this 2017 BMW i3 LCI. It is iDrive MBT. With the decoder, you will be able to project your smartphone to the screen and use all the cool features that have become part of our lives. So this is the package from Zhanjiang Roadtop. A Chinese company in Guangdong, China. So these are what we've got in the box. Here we have a user manuals, a decoder box, an LVDS cable, an accessory cable, a Wi-Fi antenna, and a power cable. Now we're going to check the circuit. Let's check the circuit. Let's check it out. Okay. This is a schematic diagram of the original iDrive system. The decoder is working like a video audio selector box that bridges the screen and all the video sources, such as the iDrive head unit, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, RCA, or HDMI input. The decoder will also take the advantage of the original controller. The installation was pretty straightforward. Just place the decoder in the space beside the glove box in front of the passenger. Since the head unit is located under the rear seat, we ran the power cable from the rear along the right door sill via the lower of A pillar to the glove box. The door sill cover strip is on top of everything. Let's remove it first. It is held by six metal clamps and six plastic clips. I use a pry to raise the cover strip upwards out of the six clamps. Then release the cover strip inwards out of the six clips. Let me put the plastic clips on the door sill cover strip so I don't lose them. <笑>处理我的车子对如果那如果不见的话就拆飞机上的来装我发现i3的跟这个一般车上的不太一样不太一样吗看看到底哪里不一样你比较长得比较高规是不是还是要用电这个这规格比较新然后我有一盒我买一
。这个其实看你三六轻松，应该很多美感。<笑>中间这个饰板也是 T 二十的气质。Next, use a T twenty Torx bit to remove the instrument panel trim on the firewall at the passenger's foot well. 对。你意外的话，冷气滤网还在这里。哦、oh, ，可以，等一下可以顺便换哈。Mario had taken advantage of this work to renew his cabin microfilter. Remove the polystyrene insert below the blower motor. The microfilter cover can be opened. 然后这个打开，摇一下，充满了盖子。哦、oh. ，然后先抽出第一张。哎，这架构都奇怪，那第一次看到上下的。There are two pieces of cabin microfilters that line up vertically， 叠起来的。绿两次的意思？不知道啊，它应该是一个大平面组成一个大平面。哦，来看看这个美国来的滤网，会不会很脏？好像还可以，好像还可以。哦，原厂的呢，米林哎。哇，干拉不干泰哥。<笑>还不错，没有、啊。你知道你这台车是哪一哪一个州来的？美国来的、啊，啊，哪一个州？嘿，要带来爱蒙吉嘞，好像好像都是加州啊。加州，有的地方比较空气比较好，好像中部德州那个沙漠地方可能就比较不好。这个长就比较麻烦，它要先往上推，再溜出来啊。哦，下面这个就比较脏。错嘛，你第一次就上走，这个很简单啊。The only remark for replacing the filter is the direction of the airflow。这个是上面吗？还是下面？这是下第一个，一定是塞进去，然后往下压、哦，往下压，就这样滑进去了。哦、OK，, OK 嗯,嗯，跟那个那个立伟去摸铁一样，嗯、就滑进，不小心就就滑进去了。对。<笑>哦，对对对，第二张。哦哦哦哦，又滑进去了。Oh, OK OK， 这个滚，这个算是比较麻烦的。欧系车应该都做得很简单，<笑>我们就先麻复原，因为等一下不会动到这个部分。对，我刚刚门板就这里。门板的，想看哦，是这样子的。哦，你说这样子啊、哦？对对对对对对，是吗？对，光滑的那一边朝里面，不太像哎。我我刚刚看影片是这样，好像是吗？好、哦，对对对对，好像是哈。简单的东西为什么会卡那么久？有了有了，哦，是是是，把它下来，就这样吗？嗯，就这样吗？应该是。接下来是门槛的这个饰板，我们一个 T 二十的新型起字头。Next, the side trim panel at the passenger footwell on the bottom of A pillar. 在车子里面施工，对，有点逼急，很痛苦，对吧 ？First, release these two T20 Torx screws on the top of the trim panel. One of them is blocked by the dashboard, so it will take a little bit of effort to undo. 好，这边有一个螺丝，看到了，藏得很里面，那么藏在细节里。那个螺丝应该是最这个工序里面最难的，最小又最难最难的一颗。它这样子的话、啊，我觉得意思是要移除这整个下面那个板子，然后才有工具可以伸进去碰到那个螺丝。有没有觉得是在健身？对，怎么角度都不对。Working in the footwell is never easy, as I had shown you in the video of removing the fuse box. So be patient and give yourself some breaks. 好，是是是。哦，出来了，出来了。哦，太好了，太好了。好，休息一下。好，喝口水。好，换我。There is one more clip at the bottom of this trim. Simply pull it inward the cabin. 啊，这个，哎，拆起来就是像这样。所以两个螺丝在上面，然后一个扣子。接下来是手套箱
Next, the glove box has six T20 Torx screws that sit under plastic caps. I realized that this is my first time using a power tool on a car. This is my first time using a power tool on a car. I also watched the young man. I was always a young man. I was always a young man. Okay, we're going to help the young man. Tag him. Lift the left side of the glove box and push the air vent trim that clips the glove box body on the right side. The glove box is up. Okay, thank you. Yes, the air vent trim. The air vent trim. The air vent trim. There is a light switch. The light switch. There are also two connectors on the glove box for the illumination. Unplug them to completely remove the glove box. Oh,还是那个安全器呢？它这个应该是卡车锁的这个防盗。哦哦，它是应该这边有一个锁了。对，怕人家。所以它这么小的手套箱。对啊，在美国重要的东西就放放这里面。好，起来了。是哦，啊
它的强度有差吗？有关吗？我觉得有啊，就是、但是越粗感觉会越强。对对对，但是它嘛，它锁得很松。嗯、With the support panel released, adjust the power cable to stay around the head unit. Make sure no tensioning and pinching are going to happen because the edges of these metal parts are pretty sharp. I was afraid they may cut the power cable eventually, as the car body is constantly twisting and squeezing. 是怕说车身有一些形变，然后久了之后把这个咬断，所以这个还蛮累的哈。嗯，有一个方法是，我把。In our case, we had to detach the cable holder from the body, so the original cable can move around. Then it can be pulled out. Then we put it 就不怕咬到线。When done with arranging the cable, redo the support panel, tighten the filister screws to their original position. Do not over torque because the car body is made of carbon fiber. 哦，那个用不能用。对。好，这样都 OK。OK。那我们就开始走线。Now we can run the power cable to the front. Let's place the cable beneath the carpet and make sure it does not contact sharp edges or parts that can bite. We go to the top. Okay. If you do this video, will you be angry with the car? 不会啦，就哦，就会骂我说不专业。不是骂你抢人家投入。大家看着自己会装，他们怎么赚钱？哦，不会啦，我觉得会装就是会装。<笑>对啊，喜欢喜欢 DIY 就是 DIY, 喜欢 DIY 就会 DIY 啊，啊愿意买服务的。对啊，当然就是这还是有专业的。对啊，请专业的做。我们是喜欢 DIY， 有这样的车库最棒啊，有灯光，然后又在室内，还有冷气。对啊，大家记得来。桃园龙潭世界车业捧场，对啊，超有、超有、超有良心的外汇车商，<笑>这个是老板的朋友才借的的场地。<笑> DIY 的、欸，不要不要不要，每个人都来借场地哈，<笑>来买车啦。<笑>啊，有一台 M 五 M 五，哦，真的 M 五 M 五旅行车，好想要，还是对，还是旅行车，对啊，还是旅行车，超棒的，旅行车是最好用的车，有一个 V 型石缸。五千 CC F1 的引擎，它十缸哦，它是十缸的哦，它是 V 十的，我那个才八缸而已。When the power cable comes to the A pillar, there's plenty of space. Run it to the glove box space and avoid placing the cable over the clipping spots or screw holes so it won't be damaged. 就是要走刚刚 USB 那个洞。对，其实这个地方空间蛮大的，然后我们就到上面去拉线。你有卡到那个 WiFi 的天线吗？没有，没有。这样就拉上来。OK。There is a DIP switch or dual inline switch on the decoder. We configure it to the corresponding size of the screen on the car. Here we have a 10.2 inch screen. Set switch one to three to on. 我们是十点二，我们是十点二，大屏幕，所以要播三个。你如果我直播两个，每一幕就变一半。OK OK。现在这个是 WiFi。WiFi 天线。然后 WiFi 不能跟 WiFi 不可以碰到主机壳上，因为可能会有电磁波干扰。嗯嗯嗯。然后会造成收讯不好。对，然后这个就插蓝色的，蓝色的嘛。哦，对，插蓝色的啊，这个有防呆嘛，所以直接看。好。WiFi 这样子插，这样插，然、okay. 后就这样插着，然后这个就移到手套箱后面就可以。手套箱后面啊。对，然后这个这个 port 就插这个，也是有防呆的。嗯哼。对，它的输入端。对。OK。就这样插好。然后你打算 USB？USB USB 漏在手套箱旁边
，走那个刚刚换冷气那个地方下来嘛。OK OK， 那、啊、之后会一条 USB 线接到那个驾驶座前面，嗯，你就不用一直弯腰了。For the Wi-Fi antenna, USB port, and RCA connectors, we decided to settle them at the bottom of the dashboard. Running the accessory cable is pretty easy with the glove box removed. Just drop cables from the top. A 柱下方有一个盖子。OK， 现在下下面这边下面没有盖子了，对。好，那我就预计是要粘哪里，先把它决定好。好，好，我就粘粘在这里。好，待会就粘。我们我们我们最后都测试完再固定。对对对对。Before going straight to finishing, Mario and I did a mock-up test. It was convenient to do this before we put everything back together. Just plug and play, enjoy the new toy. Oh, please note that the LVDS sockets on the decoder are the same. Pay attention to the in and out marking. Original purple connector to the input, new green connector to the output. 周边的就好了，对对对，主线可能不用拆了。好，那我去开机，发动。Long press menu。哎有，哦，是有，是有。然后，好了，那这样都看起来都 OK 的。OK， 功能就在测了。手机是 Google 的 Pixel 六，插入是 Micro USB 吗？还是？呃，那个 Type C。Type C。然后应该插上去，它就会连到了。然后。这边就会要求权限，还要求权限。OK， 然后这边就有了。Nice， 哦，赞呢，有呢，哦，厉害呢。好,好 ，Mark up test 成功。对 ，OK Google， 导航到中立公九溜冰场。导航到中立滑轮场。哦、oh, ，是哟，是哟。OK OK， 是这样，赞赞赞。对，而且旁边这个。Spotify 也很满意，非常好。OK， 好，测试成功。OK， 可以继续试。上机。然后这个要藏，开始藏这台了嘛？对啊。There is a space at the left of the glove box to accommodate the decoder. 手套箱的左边。我去你那边。好。We arranged the cables around it and made sure they will not be pinched or squeezed after the glove box sits back. 要开始拍。有，它应该有防弹。它有。When installing the glove box, also remember to insert its right end under the air vent trim. That's hard in the door. 要把它搬开。对对对，你可以把它挤一下。嗯，这么开。不错哦，先锁对角线的，很专业的。我打刚练跨超认真少年呢。你要干嘛？下面还有走线，这很好买哈。对啊，塑胶件，这个应该很便宜。Next is the trim panel of the lower A pillar. Be sure not to pinch or squeeze the power cable. And also make sure the rubber door sealing is properly installed. 扣子扣好，然后螺丝两颗。After the trim panel of the lower A pillar is installed, do the trim panel at the foot well. Remember to place the left bottom corner under the center carpet and do the clip at the left top. 上面是用扣子，上面是手掌扣的，不是上面有一个扣子，对，这样都有。这个板子呢，要推到最后，然后伸进后面两个金属的扣子之后，等稍微往右边移，然后才会对到螺丝孔。Hook the trim panel to the metal frames on its back before doing the two T20 Torx screws.、嗯、Next is the trim panel between the rear seat and door seal. You are going to align the plastic clips to their holes to get this trim panel seated more easily. Like this. So now the door seal cover strip can go back in. The trick is to align the six plastic clips in advance. Install the cover strip outwards, then downwards to catch the six metal clamps beneath.
If you have another good people to help you, it's also time to install the rear seat. Ah, 有一天被裁员，我们又来做这个。对呀，坐坐车子很赚哎。我觉得养那么多人。The rear seat buckles are going to need some patience to arrange. Don't worry, they are not impossible. The two clips under the seat are super easy. Just align and push downwards. The installation of the door sill cover strip sounds easy, but it took some time for me. Finally, we are done. So, yeah. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Day one, go. Really. And finally, it's time to test out the new infotainment system. Oh, this is the factory video. Factory MBT. Okay. 啊，因为是无线的，所以就直接放上无线充电就可以了。架 ，OK。对，方便。那按一下，长按 Back， 嗯哼，它就会进到我们无线呃无线 Android 的选单。OK。对，还可以决定用手机或者是用用用那个旋钮去决定放歌。好。然后导航界面比较不方便啊，就是还是要用旋钮操作。OK， 因为没有对没有触控。好。对。那你可以导航，比如说我导航到我们家 ，OK， 对，然后就开始做导航。好，好，那音乐的部分呢？音乐就是手机在放什么，它就跟着放什么。就是这边是，比如说现在是 Spotify， 嗯哼 ，Spotify， 那你可以，我可以，我可以切到 Spotify 去。OK， 好，我们到。啊，就是互换，就是可以字幕选单互换，哎，你要看音乐选单就可以这样子。好，对，就是你常用的功能。对，我大概就 Spotify 跟 Google Map。好，啊，这边有一些车上可以用的 App， 嗯哼，它都会显示。不然像我们充电车常用的可能是，呃，停车大声公嘛，就会找停车场。对，然后我会要常用的是 Plug Share 这个，这个可以帮你找充电站。OK， 对对对，充电，对。That's all for the installation of the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto Decoder on Mario's i3. Thanks to Mario for letting me have the chance to disassemble a new generation BMW, and also thank you for staying with us. I enjoyed this DIY a lot, and I hope you enjoyed too. See you next time. 好，好，那你想看什么影片吗？嗯，不然就来看我们频道最新的影片吧。好，来看看 YouTube。哦，酷。